name is Madison and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have a barn get ready with me. I'm about to head out to the barn and I thought I would take you all along on what my barn routine looks like. Um, before we jump into today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribed right down below if you have not already. It really means a lot and if there are any videos that you'd love to see from me, be sure to let me know down below. Um, I always take inspiration and ideas and whatnot from y'all and it means a lot when you give me video ideas that you would like to see from me. I want to make sure I'm producing content that y'all are excited to watch and that I'm excited to make so it's a little bit of a two-way street but without further ado let's just get started. The first thing I'm going to do is throw my hair up so that we can start working on my makeup. I feel like some people don't wear makeup to the barn. I always do. Um, I feel like there's always varying levels of intensity with it like this is me with like a little bit of mascara on and nothing else. I don't like my bags. I also think if I'm gonna put sunscreen on, I may as well wear like a tinted sunscreen moisturizer. Um, yeah, that sort of thing. So I've already washed my face this morning and done my face lotion. Um, if you were curious at all, my favorite lotion is the Sephora Nourishing Moisturizer. This is their prebiotics moisturizer. I have like notoriously dry skin like peeling all the time um mostly like around i feel like mostly like my t-zone or even my chin here um so most mornings i do two layers of moisturizer like put some on and then wait half an hour and then do another layer but regardless um i already have done that so we're just gonna jump right in i'm gonna take my beauty blender get this damp and then we're gonna go in with the super group glow screen this is a 40 SPF um, tinted moisturizer that I feel like I would say it's more of like a tinted sunscreen. It doesn't it doesn't feel heavy like a sunscreen, but I also would not suffice with just this. I need like a moisturizer underneath um, to really make sure that my skin isn't gonna peel and isn't gonna be dry and look nasty. So I'm just gonna dampen my beauty blender, dry it out a little bit, um, just like squeezing the excess water out with a towel. I really love this stuff because I feel like it gives me just enough of a tint to just even out my skin tone a tiny bit more without it feeling like heavy. Um, it also is an SPF 40, which is huge. That's so much more significant than, of course, no SPF, but even like an SPF 15, this does so much more. And even if you're not riding outside, just like being outside, driving, if it's snowy, whatever it is, um, really does take a toll on your skin. And like I said earlier, it does not feel like a like a sunscreen, which is probably my favorite thing about it. Um, there are some days if I'm doing more filming or whatever it might be that I might wear something a little bit heavier. Another go-to favorite of mine is the Laura Mercier um, Tinted Moisturizer Oil-Free, and this is a, an SPF 20, so not quite as good of an SPF. Of course, Supergoop is a sunscreen brand if you um, did not know, but that definitely gives me a lot more coverage and evening out my skin tone. Now that our base is all done, I'm going to go in with some concealer. This is the Rare Beauty Concealer in the color 250W. This is by far my favorite concealer I think I've ever used. Um, I just do a little dab under each of my eyes, one in between my eyebrows, um, and then sometimes I'll spot correct, but I think we're looking pretty good today. This stuff lasts so well. It's such a good medium coverage, I feel like, where um, it blends out really nicely if I have a very light um, sort of like base or foundation on. But then it also does, I'd say, like a fairly decent job at covering up some of my darker circles in my bags without it looking like totally obvious, at least in my opinion, maybe I'm ignorant, but that I've got. <laughs> like a boatload of concealer under my eyes and then nothing anywhere else. Um, it's also really lightweight, it lasts a while, um, super easy to blend, fairly affordable, and I like love the size of this and just the application of it. I feel like a few other concealers I've tried from some other companies that either come in pots or like squeeze tubes just don't work as well. I really, really like the applicator of this. I'm gonna just go ahead and blend this in 
Um, I really like to bring it up past my eyes on the side to just sort of like help lift my face a little bit more. Once we're all blended out, I'm gonna put this back in this container and leave it out so it can dry. I don't recommend leaving your wet beauty blender somewhere um, tight or cramped to dry out because it won't really dry and all you're doing is encouraging mildew growth. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just brush this out. I feel like I get super paranoid about blending. Uh, so I always like to go in after my beauty blender with a brush to just like really double check that everything is blended the way I want. I'm just gonna take a spoolie and brush my eyebrows out. Um, I don't really do anything with my eyebrows. And then we're gonna go in and curl my eyelashes and do some more mascara. If you know me or if even if you've just caught on, I love mascara. Um, this is the, I think this is a Tweezerman um, eyelash curler. And then this is the Bad Gal Bang mascara by Benefit. I feel like I just play around with different mascaras all the time and I truly have never found one that I love. Um, I love wearing waterproof mascara from time to time depending on the occasion and the circumstances. I really, really love this stuff, but as I've had it longer, this tube, I really noticed that the longer you've had the tube and the more dry out it gets, the more flaky it gets. And it goes from like zero to a hundred. Like this was my favorite thing ever. And then it was like, I flipped a switch and the next day and every day on, I just like, it just falls out so much as the day goes on. So, and the very last thing I'm gonna do is go in and do my lips. Um, I normally just like start with some sort of chapstick or lip balm underneath. And then I've been on sort of a lip gloss kick lately. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme in the color Strawberry Kiss. I love this. I feel like, I don't really know if it does the plumping thing. It says, like you can feel it's trying to because it kind of stings the first few times you use it. Um, but putting like a lip balm underneath this, I feel like just makes it a little bit more thin, which I really enjoy. Um, just jazzes me up a little bit. Um, as far as deodorant goes, I use the Degree 72 Hour Motion Sense. <laughs> the scent of this, the scent of this is named Sexy Intrigue, which I feel like it smells good. I don't know. It's like nothing to write home about. Um, I really like this stuff though. It lasts a long time and I feel like even after a really long day at the barn, riding multiple horses, working, whatever, like I feel like I can put this on again or depending on the circumstances, just go out to dinner with my friends and I don't worry about it, especially if I switch clothes and whatnot. Um, as far as my hair goes, I normally just like wear it in a bun or a ponytail or something casual like that to the barn, depending on if I'm coming from school or whatever, it might be in braids. But as far as my hair, when I'm actually riding goes, I will always just take it out. I'll do a low bun with a hairnet over the top and then another scrunchie on top of that. So it does not move, which is fantastic. But for today, I think I'm just gonna leave it up like this. And then the very last thing for us to do is go ahead and get dressed. I'm currently wearing this long sleeve. This is the Lululemon Swiftly Long Sleeve, which if y'all been around, you know how much I love these. These are my absolute favorite riding tops. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this on. Um, it is a long sleeve, like I said, with thumb holes. I have it in this nice burgundy color. It's like fitted, but not restrictive. It's comfortable, um, it's breathable. It's about all I could ask for. I feel like it's simple without being like too casual. Um, so I'm gonna leave this on. We're gonna go grab some breeches and a belt and get rolling. For today, I'm just gonna wear these gray Godo breeches. Um, they're gray, have the super cute black piping and trim all the way around. Um, yeah, again, black stitching sticky knee patches and black sock bottoms. I don't remember the order in which everything is coming out, but I either have talked about these in the tack haul or will. I have been obsessed with these. I have, these have been absolutely like my go-to breech lately. Um, I have another pair of go-to breeches that are green. The fit isn't quite as good as these, even though they're the exact same style and the exact same size. 
all in all, I love these. I love the black trim. I love the black piping. Um, and I feel like the gray goes with everything. So I'm gonna wear these today. And then I also have my new tailored sportsman leather C quilted leather C belt in this nice brown color. Um, I forget what the name of this specific color is, but again, if you've been around, you've probably seen that I've had the black one of these for years and it's the only thing I wear to the barn these days. So I picked up another one after they weren't on back order anymore. Um, so I'm gonna wear this with our burgundy shirt and our gray breeches, which I think should be a nice little combo. Um, I might throw in a vest and then we're gonna head out. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe right down below like I mentioned earlier. Um, I will see you all next time and I hope you all have a lovely day. Peace out, bye.